Today I will show you how to turn this really nice cute fox into a golden glowy fox in Photoshop. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun episode. So today we'll have a lot of fun applying this really nice golden glowy effect to the fox. But you can use exactly the same technique to apply this kind of effect to anything that you like. As you can see today, I'm wearing again two finger gloves. So that means that I will work with a pen display tablet. And here on the table, I have a new toy. This is 15.6, really nice, thin, good build quality tablet from XP Pen. It's called Artist 15.6 Pro. This is a good looking tablet with some really cool features. First of all, the screen that is most important part here is laminated, fully laminated display. So that means that the gap between the screen itself and the area that the pen is touching is so small that you have practically feeling that you're drawing directly on the screen. And also there is almost no parallax effect. The drawing experience is really nice and smooth. And one notice guys, this is not a sponsored video. I didn't got paid to say anything about this tablet. So this is just my own opinion. I'm using it for a few weeks now and I really enjoy the experience of using it. The pen, the pen is really cool. It has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. So it's more than enough for anything. It's really nice, smooth feeling of changing the pressure with the pen. If you're using pen uh, for pressure sensitivity, you know how important it is that you have more levels of pressure sensitivity to be really precise with that. Also, it comes with really nice like cigar case. The pen goes here. You can just screw it on and this is it. On the other side, you have some pins, nibs for the pen. So this is really cool. And also the cap can uh, be used for a stand. So you can put it like this on the table and use it as a stand. This is really cool feature. Also on the left side of the tablet, you have eight fully customizable buttons so you can program them to do whatever you want, even make a coffee if you want. And uh, you have one ring here that you can again program it. So maybe you can uh, change the brush size with the ring or zoom in, zoom out the canvas or even rotate the canvas or whatever you want. You can really easily customize all those buttons on the side. On the right side, you have just two buttons. One is for turning on and off the tablet and another is for changing the brightness in case you want to make your screen less or more bright. Also, the colors are really nice. The screen is uh, one. It has 120 percent of sRGB color gamut, which is really good. And in case you don't like the calibration, you can really easily recalibrate the screen with external calibrator. All right, guys. So that's basically it with uh, the screen. Also, the screen has anti glare surface, which is really good. It beha behaves really nice in bright conditions. And overall, I really love it. Now we will jump straight into Photoshop and start with our tutorial using this really nice tablet. All right, guys, we are here in Photoshop and today we will transform this really nice, already good looking photo of a cute fox into a little bit more interesting photo of a glowy golden fox. So the effect is really easy and simple to create. You just need to follow some steps that I will show you today. So first you need to create new layer. Let's create new layer and let's switch it from normal to linear dodge blending mode. So this is really important. You can use linear dodge. That's the best, in my opinion, for this kind of effect. Sometimes you can use color dodge and overlay and soft light are working good, even hard light. In case you're not familiar how the blending modes are uh, working, what they are for and what are they are doing to the image, you can watch my tutorial about all the blending modes explained on the link right there. Right. So now that we are in a new layer, I will rename it head because I will play with the head first. Let's zoom this. Okay. And I will use a brush. So let's go here, use a brush, choose a color. Let's choose some kind of maybe reddish tint like this. And now, as you can see, if I use maybe 30% opacity and change the brush size, I like this wheel to change the brush size. It's really nice, convenient. So I can paint here and you will see already, I will have some kind of golden looking effect. So I'm working with the 30% opacity just to add this effect slowly. I don't want to rush it with this. So this is really cool. And then I will just go with the ears right here, maybe 10% opacity right there. So 
just to add slowly the effect. Okay, like this. And you can paint the effect wherever you want. It's completely optional. It's completely up to your taste. There are tons of ways how you can customize this and make it more interesting. But today I'm showing just one of them. As you can see, this is already really nice before and after. It already has that like almost glowy golden effect. And I want to show you another good uh, cool trick when I'm working with uh, this kind of effects and uh, with the details in Photoshop. I like always to zoom out and zoom in the photo to see the whole photo and then to see the details. But also what I like to do all the time in my work, I like to go to window and then as you can see a range and new window for this uh, fox. So let's move this window right there. Okay, make it smaller like this and I want to put it somewhere here in the corner so also let's let's zoom this a little bit like this so in this setup I have two windows for the same uh, photo for the same project and whatever I'm doing here on a big big window I will see the changes on the small window so I don't need to unzoom it all the time that's really really cool to know Okay, now let's add a little bit more glow and this is okay. Now let's go and switch the color and sample another one a little bit brighter, maybe this yellowish type of color, maybe a little bit more down like this. So this will be a brighter color. As you can see, I can paint it here and make things even brighter. So I want this center of the forehead to be brighter. Also, I can make the brush smaller and just Take my time, enjoy and paint a little bit smaller strokes here, almost hair by hair. But that will of course take more time to finish the photo. For the case of this tutorial, I will not do that, but just for you to let you know that this is an option and that's something that you should invest a little bit more time doing it. So with the X on a keyboard, I'm switching between the foreground and background colors, so I will just switch and paint more effect here. And cha I'm changing the brush opacity with keyboard shortcuts. Okay, now let's paint a little bit brighter colors here. You can see The good thing with this pen is that it supports tilt. So in case you're using some brush with the tilt uh, settings, you can do this uh, with the pen and the tablet. And the pen is also battery free, so you don't need to recharge it or charge it or whatever. You just need to take it and paint, paint with the pen. That's really, really cool. All right, so now let me see. I'm almost done with this. Maybe to add a little bit more glow here on the side maybe like that and just paint here on the hair okay and this is first step so we already have some really cool effect as you can see before and after so before and after really really nice effect now I will do exactly the same for the body so I'll create a new layer rename it body okay and I will use the same color so I will just paint with darker more like a reddish saturated color here with maybe 10% opacity and just add it right there also let me show you also I will just paint right here on the mouth because it will reflect some light there, definitely. And I will now fast forward. It's completely the same procedure like I did with the hat. So I will just switch between foreground and background color and just paint some here, here and there and add this kind of effect, okay. Alright guys, so this is this part 
done so let me show you before and after really nice of course you can fix it even more but for this tutorial this is pretty good so i'll just add a little bit more glow here on the side maybe on the legs and i will stop somewhere here okay maybe here on the tail and on the tail i will probably mm, I will erase from here okay I will do that later but from the tail I can probably add a little bit more glow with brighter color like this that's cool and then just switch between those two colors and make this kind of effect as you can see this is really really cool maybe some strokes here and then let me show you I can use like smudge tool and just smudge this a little bit maybe the strength is too high so let's let's change this from 40 to 11 okay this is much better I just want to smudge this a little bit so I'm using some brush that I choose from a Photoshop legacy brushes so you can use whatever brush you want or maybe i, I use some from a dry dry media brushes in uh, in new photoshop version yes i'm using probably some of these i don't remember but it doesn't matter just play with it and see what works the best so for example the brush that i just choose it have this kind of effect but we will not use it from uh, for this photo so this is cool okay now let me see if i zoom it before and after really really cool effect now let me show you how you can uh, make this to emphasize this even more by maybe changing the eyes and making the surrounding a little bit darker etc so let's now first fix the eyes let's go and create new layer and rename it eyes okay and i will do exactly the same put this into linear dodge and make a brush a little bit smaller okay maybe 10 or 20 percent opacity brush choose this reddish color and just this is guys really soft brush so hardness is completely zeroed and i just want to paint here with this reddish tint okay like that and the other eye too Okay, so this is really cool. And also I will erase, I will use eraser right there. And I will erase this that I painted over because I don't want to have the effect there. Another really cool thing that I like about this tablet are those customizable buttons. So I can use just those buttons to like move it, to unzoom it, to zoom it, to change the brush size, to change from eraser to brush with just one touch to use alt or option key control etc it's really really cool customizable tablet so i really i really enjoy using it uh, and the size the screen 15.6 inch it's really good i would love to use a little bit larger tablet like 20 or so inches but this is this is like the really really cool feeling of using the tablet okay so let me see i can use brush on the head again and just try to a little bit more details here as you can see not too much and maybe here on the ears a little bit more like this but you can always add and remove the effects however you like it but this is really cool now the next step is let me show you the eyes before and after really nice cool punch to the eyes also you can paint a little bit differently maybe what I didn't do you can use this uh, brighter color and just add more brightness inside like this to emphasize the effect a little bit more and now as you can see before and after really cool effect also guys 
what you can do, you can use curves. Let's use curves adjustment layer and uh, make everything darker like that. And I will invert the mask by pressing Control or Command I. And now I will just paint with a really nice soft brush, maybe 50% opacity or 30%. Just build the effect right here with the white brush. So I just want to make this darker. Especially corners, like adding some kind of vignette. If you're looking right here on the left portion of the screen, you can see the smaller version, how it's building the effect. I really like to have that as an option. So, okay, so this is cool. Let me show you before and after. Now the fox is more pronounced. It, it looks a little bit more bright because the surrounding area is darker. So this is really cool. You can even play more with this, add more adjustment layers if you want, etc. But I will stop here. And the next step is to select the fox and then to add a glow effect around it. You can paint that glow effect, but I will show you another way how you can do it. So I will go on the background layer, go to the quick selection tool. And in the newer version of Photoshop, you have this smart uh, select option that is called select subject. If you don't have that, just use quick selection tool and quickly select the fox. But select subject with select will select the fox really nicely. What I like to do now is to extract the fox by pressing Control or Command J, and I have a fox on a separate layer. This is really cool. Now I will double click on it, okay, and I will go to color to gradient, actually to outer glow. Sorry, to outer glow, and I will add some glow here. So as you can see, I will add a glow around the fox, choose some kind of orange color. This will work pretty good. Opacity. So it depends what kind of glow effect you need to play with the range slider. You need to play with the spread, etc. but just play with it. So this, this is cool. Also, you can put it in a linear dodge or maybe overlay it will have the fa uh, different effect, but linear dodge will work fine here. So this is good. This is not a final effect. Don't worry, guys, you will see. So I'm just playing with this. Okay, and then I will add inner glow too. So inner glow is another part of the effect. This is really nice and cool, like a glowing fox. Size, range, range, cool like that. And I will press OK. And now I will create a layer mask, use a black brush, 100% opacity, and just with actually brush, not a quick selection tool, I will just brush out these parts that I don't want to be applied. So as you can see, the effect is fading out, up. I just want this upper part to be applied. Let me check if I'm using, yeah, soft brush. This is really cool. So. I just want this part of the fox to be affected. So this is it before and after. This is already nice looking fox. Now you can add even more effects. So for example, you can add some kind of a flying particles around the fox that could be interesting. And for that, you can use a custom made debris brush. And in case you don't know how to do that, how to create your own custom made debris brush, you can watch my tutorial about that on the link right here. But here I will show you really quickly how to create that kind of uh, brush for this effect. So for that, you will need the new document control or command N, and I will change the size to 2500 by 2500 72 DPI is okay. And this is this is okay, I will use the lasso tool and create a new layer and just create some kind of selections, I will press and hold shift to add to the selection, just make several of these and maybe one more smaller here. So this is cool. Then I will use black and white colors, press D on the keyboard to reset to default colors and press Alt and backspace to fill our selection with the black. So this is it. Now we'll go to edit, define brush preset and rename our brush to particles and press OK. So now I have a brush as you can see right here, but 
I need to customize it a little bit. So let's press F5 to go to brush properties and let's go to shape dynamics, move the size jitter all the way, move the angle all the way and maybe go to brush tip shape and maybe increase the spacing a little bit. And this is it for now. We can go to transfer and move the opacity. So control off, move the opacity, something like that. And you need to play to experiment to see how it works. So as you can see, this is really nice, cool particle brush that we will use for this example. Okay, let's go back to our document right there. And I will create a new layer that I will rename particles. Okay, and I will again put it into linear dodge blending mode and I will zoom here. I will just create some particles around the fox right there. But let me show you another cool trick. I will just choose two colors. So one is like a darker reddish or something like orangey color and another one is brighter, more yellowish color like, like this. So we have two different colors and I will go again to F5 and then go to color dynamics and what I like to do here, I like to apply this foreground slash background jitter so that it will change colors from foreground to get background. It will have a mix of those two colors. This is really, really cool. So I will use that and let me see. Let's just create several particles, like particles are flying from the fox up. This is really, really cool. And now another cool trick, I will create a new layer I will name it like orange overlay. Okay. And I will put this into overlay blending mode and use this orange color with a soft round brush and maybe like, I don't know, 20 or 10% opacity. And just add that kind of orange glow around. So as you can see, this is really cool. You can use maybe a brighter brush if you don't like this orange look, but I really love it. And also I will, I will paint some orange down below, like light reflection from the fox on the ground. That's really, really cool. So as you can see here on the full size image, this is how effect will look. I really like it. And then you can guys again customize this and play with this however you want. It's completely up to you. You can maybe paint the face a little bit here around with that warm orange tone. It's really nice. More partic particles. Maybe you want some brighter particles. So maybe you want to change this to like really bright and then switch back to that brush that you created. And oops, it needs to be right here. So maybe 100% opacity. And then I have some like even brighter particles that are going here. Also, I can create another particle. So particles number two and just populate here, like around the fox. Maybe they are too small. Let's, let's delete them and just make them bigger. And you will see, I will just blur this a little bit so this is cool just like that on the photo that is going all around and then i can double click to add a little bit of a glow so our glow this is of course too much so we will go with this just a bit like that opacity a little bit and that's cool and then we could go to filter blur gaussian blur and just blur that glow like this. And also I will, I will switch maybe linear dodge or maybe soft light. Let me see. Soft light is cool. Color dodge is cool too. Let's use color dodge and lower the opacity. This is cool. You can also guys add some kind of, uh, bokeh effect here so in case you don't know how to do it i have a full tutorial on bokeh effect on the link right there so try experiment do whatever you want and then you can have like a little bit more interesting final image so we started from this and ended with this effect it's a really nice cool effect before and after let's zoom this a little bit more so before 
and after i really love how this uh, looks and you can make it even more interesting by tweaking that you can now merge everything together with shift Control alt or shift command option e on a mac and then just go and uh, apply maybe camera row filter and just tweak some colors maybe you can add a little bit more contrast maybe you want to add some texture and maybe some vibrance you want maybe to lower the brightness on the sides to add this kind of a vignette maybe to sharpen it a little bit so like i'm doing basically in all my photos and this is practically it you can play with some colors here and there but this is it so before and after another cool effect and there we have it our cute cool fox that was started with this photo and ended with this one right guys so that's it for today's episode i really hope that you like it and that you learn some really cool nice and interesting tips and tricks from this one that you can later apply on your own images in case you have any question regarding to this episode please leave it down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it also guys if you want to check more about this uh display tablet you can follow the link down there in the description i don't have anything with the commissions or whatever i'm just recommending you this really nice piece of hardware i'm really enjoying using it and i will definitely use this for a while and guys in case you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better you can do that by visiting my patreon page the link is down there in the description and you will get some things in return so for example like psd files etc check out my patreon page and see what's uh, everything about also guys if you like this episode if you appreciate this content just press the like button down below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun episode bye bye